one, two, a one, two, three, a one, two, a one, two, three, and a one, 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 two, three, and a two, and a one, two, three. What the hell is wrong with you? Yo, 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 it's <laughs> over it flow. What's going on, you guys? How are you guys doing today? First things first about the gameplay. It's going to be super dope. Doing a dual Q&A with my buddy, KMK Cuban Kings. He's here. Subscribe to him if you haven't already. He will be linked in the description below. Just about to hit 3,000 subscribers, so please hook him up. Let him know. Let him know. Let him know, man. Let him know that the army of flows. That water Malone. The, the flow Alition, all you guys, all the flows out there can support somebody for being a great commentator, which he is. Go check him out for sure. Let's get into this Q&A. Oh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Say what's up and stuff. So. That's my intro. You get you gonna tell him your name? Nah. Oh. So <laughs> let's get into this, man. We only did like three questions last time. Let's okay. Okay. let's do this. Let's do this. All right. First question comes from. Go ahead and read that. You know, I, I want to read. Okay. That. Well, it's from a girl. You're a girl. No, I'm not a girl. You don't say that to people ever. Never, ever, never, ever make it. <laughs> never make it. Don't you see? Wee, wee, wee. He can make it. Ko Kubo, night two nineteen. Whoa, dude, dude, I'm one of your female fans. What? I have girls that are fans. What's up? That's How cool, are man. You? That's actually really cool. That's a girl. That's cool that girls watch our YouTube videos. <laughs> They're yours, at least. Uh, love the Black Ops 2 vids. Thank you. And I have a question. Me and my boyfriend, yes, we're adults. We're going to move in together to our own apartment in three to four months' time. Congratulations. Congrats. We've been together for two years. Do you think it's a good idea to move in together? And what are some things I shouldn't do while living together, such as making him help me clean or anything like that? Communicate. Communication is key. Talk to him. Find out. Like you've been with him for like two years now, so you should know what he likes and what he doesn't like. He should knows what you like and what you don't like. So just you know, just don't be weird around each other. I guess be normal. Mm -hmm. Don't don't do don't try to do anything you know out of the ordinary. If you've never asked this man to make you a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, don't out of the blue. Start demanding peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> that's, that's not going to be a good thing. That's a good point. That's a good point. I've had experience living with females, and what I'm going to say to you is, first off, congrats. That's awesome. Um, it's going to change the dynamic of the relationship for it sure. Is, because is. you guys are going to step out of this like um, comfort zone of you know, loving each other but having your own alone time, and you're going to have to really deal with each other being around all the time, and you're going to have to make a little bit more mature choices and stuff with how you're dealing with... Um, him always being there and you always being around, you know what I mean? I'm sure it will be good, but remember to respect each other's space for sure and make sure, this is a key thing I think, as the best thing that you could do is make sure neither of you, and this is, make, make sure neither of you, but since I'm only talking to you, make sure you never do anything to overstep his boundaries. Does that make sense? Like, it's okay. I, I feel like, what am I trying to say here? I feel like as long as you're not like doing something that's hindering the, uh, you know, hindering anything in the household, then you're good. You're set. Like, as long as you're not leaving dirty clothes on the floor, then you're good. Do you know what I'm saying, man? I, I know what you're saying. Like, Look, you need to play it by ear. Just see how it goes and, you know, modify and change as it goes. There is no set plan to moving in with someone. It, it changes as you go and as you get older and more experienced with them living there with you. So Yeah, and I'm trying to think of the, the words to use here. But, like, basically, don't do anything to make it negative. And I'm speaking to both of you more or less because... Honestly, dude, as long as you're not... Oh, here we go. As long as you're not doing something that affects him negatively and he's not doing anything to to affect you negatively, then you guys are on a good path. Like, if somebody's not doing the dishes, then that person needs to step up, be mature, and do the dishes that they dirtied. Or Agreed. if somebody's, Agreed. like, leaving the house a mess, they need to step mm. up and clean it. You know, one person can't be the person to always do all the cleaning and all the household stuff, you know? And as far as asking him to help you clean the dishes... Yeah, don't, um, don't make him, of course, but he should want to, and you should explain to him, hey, you know... It's both of our house now, and we should both, you know, have an equal share in making sure everything stays nice. Because you keep everything nice, and it stays a happy relationship. And also, in a relationship, I think, it, you know, you, you need to be at 100%. And it's it can't be one person does 50% and one person does 50%. Each person needs to do 100%, so if the other one falls a little bit short, you can make up for it. Does that make sense? It... It varies from relationship to relationship. I can't cook or clean worth a damn, so my girlfriend is gonna have to pick up the slack where I can't make it. So Cuba's it, exactly the guy that I'm talking about. Cuba, I, give 100%. I Cuba. can't, I, man. I can't cook or clean worth a damn. 
So I hope that you and I hope that we answered your question. Hopefully, hopefully it goes good for both of you. And congrats, man. Scully two 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 two. Hey, Overt. I'm 15. Been lifting for two years. Gained quite a bit of muscle. 160 pounds, by the way. But I want to know if I need to take protein powder to get better results. My parents won't let me, but I could buy it on the side. Um. (laughs) <laughs> Dude, yeah, um, for sure. I would say buy protein powder on the side if you can. Honestly, there's no reason for your parents not to want you to do it. Have they done the research on it? I don't think so. You know, let them do the research on it and stuff. But protein, dude, and if you can't buy protein, then guess what? Go buy a couple steaks and eat that. Yeah, dude. And just, what are they, they going to argue with you about steaks? No, it's the same exact thing. It's just easier to take it in protein powder form. Don't be a weirdo. Just eat a bunch of steaks and chicken. Yeah, it's literally, there's nothing... Basically, all protein powder does is helps you, like, eat a steak in powder form so it's easier. You know what I mean? Yeah, agreed. So, I don't understand why the parents, unless they have, they must have no knowledge of that stuff, you know? Unless you're, like, a crazy health no, family. They're, they're your parents. They're allowed to limit you on whatever. Don't give them advice to, you know, go against his parents either. They oh, can, my God. They can tell him to not do jack, and he's supposed to follow. It doesn't make them right, though. No, it, we're not arguing right or wrong. Jesus. This I got a cam in the background. This is crazy, man. This no, is blasphemy. Go against your parents. Go get some protein. But seriously, though, just go buy some steaks. Yeah, and get have some that, steaks. Dude, have them research protein. Um, unless they're crazy vegan health food guys, they should have no problem with it. You know? Because at the end of the day, if you're wrong, you're wrong. I don't care if you're a parent or not. Jesus. Sorry. Zachary Moore and Barrick. I'll let you answer this one because you loved it so much. Which one? Oh, <laughs> how do you hook up with a potato? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you hook up with a potato. So you do it. You do it. You do it. You do it, and you do it good. Enemy has Charlie. What are we doing? Uh, <laughs> I thought you were going to answer the question. I did. I answered it. I don't know how. Oh, answer it again. How do you hook up with a potato? Go ahead. Warm it up in the microwave. Tell him. Oh, oh. With the potato, you open it. You open it. <laughs> you, I'm trying. I, hold on. I'm looking at the game, but I was jumping in front of that guy. Okay. You warm up the potato in a microwave, but be careful. It might burn you. Yeah, we're gonna make this video extra long. Instead of doing another QA, let's just make this yeah, one. Yeah, let's make this minutes. one really long. Let's okay, cool. It. Anyways, you guys, next question. So we're gonna do another cam in the background. Leave a like for an extra cam. Leave a like for a super long video. Leave a like for Kim Kiki Goob and Kiki. Leave a Hi. like for Overflow. Hi. Next question comes from Elliot Marina. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Elliot Moreno. <laughs> How do you know when it's time to move on from a relationship? When you're not happy. When you're not happy anymore, when you're just content doing the things that you do every day and you're not really happy. But maybe that's also time for communication. Maybe you're not happy because of something going on with her. Yeah, don't don't be a drama queen and, you know, just, uh, you're not happy with today and you're just gonna ruin everything. If it has been a long segment of just negativity and nothing is changing and everything is just going down the drain and there is no fixing it whatsoever and there's no hope on either party's side, get the hell out of there. Bounce. Bounce, dog. Yeah, that was, that's the best thing, man. Once you're not happy with the relationship and you're only there because you're comfortable, I think that it's best for you to have a serious talk and um, really figure it out for yourself, you know? But only you can really know. Only, only you. you can prevent only you. forest fires. Oh, only you. Dylan Milley. In the sixth grade, did you have sex? Eighth grade. You had sex in eighth grade? To be honest. Eighth going to ninth. Adam had sex when he was 12. Really? Yeah. He beat me? Wow. I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it. You just said it very proudly. No, I, did, I didn't say it proudly. Are you proud guy? No. Are you proud of what you 12? did? 12? Yeah. Dude, he's a beast. That's he's not, beast. honestly, it's not that, it's not that. At that age, I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> What's going on? But seriously, man, no, I didn't, and I don't think anybody should really have sex. No, in sixth no, grade, no, no, that's sure. not a thing. I think that I think that sixteen is a proper age to have what gra- sex. What grade are you in in sixteen? Junior. Really? Yeah. You're a junior in high school at sixteen? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good age. I think that I think that right around then you can have a job, you can have your own car, you have the priv- privileges of driving. You're more an adult than a kid. I think at that age is where it really like you can make adult decisions at that age. If they're going to trust you driving and smoking cigarettes and stuff at 16, who is trusting you while doing this stuff? You know, if it, but if they want to go get an In-N-Out burger after this? I do. <laughs> Let's yeah, okay, good. Cuz I'm hungry. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, Wait, does that um, make sense? 16 is the age. I think that that's an okay want. age. I would never if you had it younger than that then eh, you know whatever, but I think if you want to be smart about it, I think wait until you're 16 is good. I agree. Alright, next question comes from Lawn Chairs XBL. 
I dated an ugly girl for two years, and that was in eighth grade. I'm in tenth grade now, and people still bother me about it. What should I do? Man. Wait! <laughs> Legend's mom says, Hey, my friend, just laugh at them and make some jokes of it. They will understand that you don't care about the issue you had. These are how I imagine you guys' voices. <laughs> I hate you so much. Look, if you dated an ugly girl, you dated an ugly girl. We all have. What a, a, I've never dated, I've an, never ugly dated girl. an ugly girl either. Look, what is? Man up to it. So what? I agree with Legend Moms. Yeah, he's got a good point, dude. Just laugh at just it. Just laugh it off. If man, they're like, whatever. Hey, remember and that we, ugly girl? You could be like, ha ha ha. Yeah, yeah, she was awesome because her personality was beautiful. Yeah. And be gay about it. Like yeah, that. you could. Look, <laughs> just laugh it off. Just laugh it off and use it. Like, what else? It happened. At least you dated someone. Yeah, exactly. At least you dated somebody. Um, and who cares? And also, dude, just all you can do is laugh it off and don't act like you're hurt by it because then they might try to bully you more by it. Yeah. You know? Um, next question comes from... Wow. Wow. This is, the, this is like the easiest question ever. Where is Argentina located? It's located in South America. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is this? What are... Great. Give that me is... a harder question. That's hilarious. Uh, next question from Duncan Von Court Terran. <laughs> what are you, a vampire? <laughs> Why is he named that? He might be Dutch. <laughs> Why is he named that? He, he might be Dutch or German. He's a vampire. No. Vampires are not named. That is a vampire ass <laughs> name. <man. laughs> vampire. I tried it. Got a question from a vampire. Hey, over it. Love the videos. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I like this girl. I'm going to ask her out next Thursday, August 28th. My Our man. first day of JV football game. How do you think I can ask her out that is unique and we'll get her to say yes? The day of your first JV football game. Dude, you could ask her after the game? You could actually, you could ask her before the game too. You could ask her before the game. It'll give you a huge pump. Or, if you're too nervous, win that game and just just dominate the game. Be MVP of that game. And then walk up to her, throw a water bottle in her face and be like, you, me, now. No? No, I like that. I think that, uh... <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't do that. Honestly, dude, I'm gonna go ahead and say... I would probably ask her before the game. Before. Before, because then during that whole game, she'll be, like, looking at you like, Oh, my God. And the whole game, you'll be pumped up because you'll, you know... You'll exactly. Have ask, her, ask her before because then she'll, like, be focused in on you. Yeah. But you can't play that game like no bitch. If you ask her out and she says yes, you need to put in your heart and soul into that game. You need to show her you are a horse man. You're a man with manly stuff going on so yeah ask her out the best thing you could do is just go up to her ask her out the way you want to obviously you'd be like hey my man i'm so excited for the, this game and i've been thinking about it all day but the one thing i've been thinking about more is you Aww. yeah i would totally go out with you <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly how it's gonna go down it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be great man do it man let good me know luck. what happens good luck hey some like some guy told me it august 20 oh ah, my foot <laughs> This is August 28th, they're gonna have to put this video up first. Dude, jeez, man. Oh, man, that's in 10 days. How many videos do we have? Like, four? Like, 12. Put this one up first. Topsy Turvy. Keep the subscribers thinking, guessing. Just no guessing. Next, next question. Zombies, freak. Hey, Overt, I need some advice. Me and my ex broke up a while ago, Word. and it's still weird between us. Okay. Normally, I would give her blah, blah, blah. I can't do any more voices. I got none. Normally, I would kind of ignore her until it would go away more, but we actually we're actually next-door neighbors Wow, man, you don't shit where you eat, so I can't really do that. I would like to stay friends, but With her, but I don't know what to say or how to Because I think I may still have feelings for her, and I don't know if I would say something to make it worse <laughs> if um, if you could give me any advice that would help. I would really appreciate it. Thank you, and keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. Thanks, bro. Overflow. I appreciate keep it. it up, man. Best advice from me right here. It's going to be awkward between it's you gonna guys. It's going to stay awkward, man. You guys are very familiar with each other. It's going to stay awkward, bro. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Giggity. The best thing you can do, man, is simply um, stay here, friend. And you know what? Let's take it to this. Why did you guys break up? Did you break up because of, you know, trust issues, relationship issues, uh, just because it wasn't working out? Or why? Because if the reason was... Anything to do with like other guys or mistrust or, or abusive beatings from her, then don't go back with her. But maybe if you guys just broke up because, hey, you guys were both too busy for the relationship, then maybe you could talk to her and see where it goes, you know? But it's going to be awkward between you guys until you give it some time and you really figure out how you feel and um, what to do, I guess. The piece of advice that I'm going to give pretty much covers every question here. Don't be weird about it. That's it. That's my advice. Yeah, stop being weird about it. Don't just be a weirdo like about a it. Just friend. be normal. Be normal. It's not that hard. Treat it like a normal friend. Treat it good. But um, 
Yeah, also really think about why you guys broke up, you know? And yeah, that's yeah. Everything. And this has been Overflow and his friend KOK Cuban Kings. It has been us. Pimp your channel. Pimp my channel. My channel is the best damn YouTube channel you'll ever see in the world. The world, the Craig. World, I do everything from Destiny to Battlefield to Call of Duty to scary games. My scary games is actually one of my like my, one of my strong suits. Dude, they're really super my, my, funny. Actually. My scary games are one is one of my strong it's points. It's pretty hilarious. It is. I do live commentaries with this guy sitting next to me. I do Q and A's on his channel. I do everything. I don't answer questions because ain't nobody got time for that except for this beautiful gentleman. That's why you need to leave a like on his channel for him taking the time out to give everybody advice on what to do. Besides that, I'm KOK Cuban Kings winning the game in the background with a SATCOM ballistic vest only. I think that's a ballistic vest. A SATCOM only cam strike. Oh, I lost. It doesn't matter. Pretend like I won. Over it. Anything you want to say before I end this? That is it. Love you guys. Tell you guys are beautiful. Leave some.